Hi ladies! Today I want to talk about what I packed for hospital in my bag. I was using this um, medium size weekender um, vintage croc bag. Uh, I just had it from before so I didn't, I didn't um, buy any new bags for the hospital. I brought some clothing, I brought some cosmetics, I brought some stuff for breastfeeding uh, and also some snacks and some uh, stuff to pass the time. Um, well, I worked a bit. <laughs> so my laptop, my planner and my, my magazines. Um, in terms of clothing, I brought an outfit to go home in, uh, which was just a casual outfit, t-shirt, sweater, jeans and um, Converse sneakers. Um, on top of that, for a hospital stay, I brought three sets of three or four sets of pajamas, including the robe. I got them in Osho. Um, these sets included this like, just a thin cotton robe. Uh, I didn't have pockets on it, so uh, I, it, this one doesn't have pockets. So I would recommend uh, robes with pockets definitely. Uh, for example, I my daughter was in a in a, she was premature three weeks and she stayed in prenatal prenatal um, unit and I had to go to visit her every uh, three hours so I didn't have her with me in my room so I, I pockets would be useful uh, in the bathroom to, for um, breast pads or my mobile on top of that in the pajama set I got uh, just a, a thin cotton pajama pants and a tank top with clips um, for breastfeeding I also brought some, uh, you know, five sets of underwear, um, including the bras with clips also. So these are super useful. You want to get at least five to ten of these um, for your pregnancy and, um, well, better, better say for, for breastfeeding later on. Um, on top of that, I also got some tank tops uh, with same clips which I was wearing on during the day with uh, my tights. I still use my maternity tights that go over the belly for the hospital stay. I also brought these uh, cute slippers. I got them in Osho. They have feathers on. <laughs> I was probably the only one with um, feather slippers in the hospital. Also, uh, and when it comes to breastfeeding stuff, um, accessory, I got this Medela Swing breast electric breast pump. I got this later on, uh, but for the hospital I had a manual pump, which was not that good, and I definitely recommend you to get electric one because it's easier to use it. Then I got Purelan, uh, also from Medela, Purelan 100, and this is to, just to soothe sensitive nipples and dry skin. This is really great. Uh, I just kind of wipe it off with a uh, wipe, wet wipe for before breastfeeding, but I apply it after each breastfeeding. Uh, this is uh, also really good nipple cream from Trof Trofolastin. It's, uh, I got it here in Spain, so maybe you want to use a dif different brand. I don't know if this one is available but uh, where you are, but it's also really good. I use this, this one the whole pregnancy actually. I got my anti-anti-estrias um, st cream, uh, which is for stretch marks. So I use this my whole pregnancy, and also uh, after I still use it. I also got some breast pads that you need for breast after breastfeeding. Um, event ones are good, and I got um, silicone nipple. It comes in small, medium, large size, and you get this little box with it. It's a really good thing to, to use when you're starting to breastfeed, especially if you have an infection or... I had mastitis for the first two days, and it was super painful, and this was um, easier for my baby to grasp on while breastfeeding. Another thing that I got were these, like, super glamorous... <laughs> Uh, grown-up diapers pretty much, uh, but these are like a panties with pad inside inserted uh, Even though I got ones in hospital as soon as I delivered and this is how they look uh, Not really 
they're not really tight enough, I think, or they're not really um, that comfortable. And they just put these huge pads inside of these panties after you deliver. Um, I also got these from Amazon and they're huge and I didn't end up needing them. I just used a uh, regular normal pads for my whole hospital stay and then later on I didn't even need those so I just got the small ones but you want to get a couple of boxes of each of these because you just don't know how your delivery is going to go and this is how these panties look I got a big size, I got large because I didn't know how big they are and they were much too big so I recommend small or medium unless you're, you know, you really need super large ones okay uh, on top of that, I just brought uh, my laptop, my magazines, my uh, women's planner, <laughs> and also my cosmetics, so my makeup bag um, and my cosmetic bag with shower gel and my lotions, including my uh, stretch mark, anti-stretch mark lotion. Yeah, so that, that's about it. Um, let me know if, if, if you also had a delivery already and there's something that you brought that I didn't mention that other ladies might need. Uh, I, had, I delivered in a private hospital, so they provided a lot of things, um, also, you know, pads, but they didn't have these um, store-like pads, they just had these huge ones, so I felt much more comfortable having my own stuff and having enough of it. Uh, for five days so just even though if you deliver naturally you might say for three to four days in a hospital I or five um, I recommend you to to have at least enough clothing and, and um, hosp uh, hospital stuff for five days because you never know what's gonna happen and so you don't have to have your boyfriend you know run around and try to find pads in the store because he's gonna be anyway super excited yeah so that's all um, uh, hop to my store if you didn't already purchase Women's Planner. Uh, it's super cute, super useful, especially for working uh, moms and ladies. So uh, now it's discounted, so you can get it for a really, really good price. Bye!